Welcome back to my channel. It's Nikki of Nikki's Homemade Crafts. And today we're gonna use this square and we're gonna connect it to the next square using the join as you go method. I'm gonna teach you two different methods on, and how to connect these two squares with each other. I'm also gonna teach you what join as you go even is and how you're going to about doing this for an entire blanket and not just two squares with each other. Now keep in mind, I have a link down below in the description. So if you want to learn how to crochet this daisy linked crochet granny square, then check that out. I have the written instructions down below as well as the video tutorial for that. And I even have a video tutorial on how to experiment around and learn how to substitute your yarn in case you want to go up in yarn weight or down in yarn weight or up in hook size or down in hook size. So that's a little experiment all using this daisy easy linked crochet granny square. So let's get started. In order to do the join as you go method for this specific square, which is my daisy linked crochet granny square for the big blanket that I have that is more kind of a checkerboard blanket, um, I do want to make sure that I'm using here the same color for this tutorial only because dark green is very hard to see on camera. It's almost like black on camera. So I'm picking the same color here. So don't get confused. The blanket is in checkerboard. So it has like a dark dark green and this light green, but I'm going to show you in the light green. Now you do want to make sure that you understand the join as you go method, which is what this video is all about. If you haven't tried yet the square, go ahead and watch the other video. I have a link down below so that way you can watch it easily, which teaches you the entire square on how to make it. Now this video is just for the join as you go method. Now there are different types of versions of the join as you go, but pretty much what it means is that you are connecting your squares with each other as you go along, meaning during the very last round, you are connecting it to a neighboring square as you are crocheting it. So that means there's no sewing involved in order to connect two squares with each other. That's just what join as you go method means. Now you can actually crochet the join as you go method in different ways. I'm just going to teach you the way I used for this specific blanket slash square. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, before I get started, I do want to explain the technique really quickly so that you understand it in case you have never done join as you go and you don't know how to do this. Okay. So join as you go, by the way, is uh, abbreviated as this join as you go and then method, right? So in case you have ever seen that, this is what it means, you'll join as you go. So you would have one full square done. The very first one is done. Now you can go from like one corner to another corner. You can do row by row. You can do from the center out. It is up to you. You can pretty much do this method in any kind of way. Some people like to do the center square first and then work their way around it. That works too. I, for this technique, I went from one corner and I worked row by row until I had all my rows done. Okay. So that's how I did it on this one. Now you can see this one is done. This one square is the first square right here. Okay. And then this one has one edge missing. So that one is this one. So you can number this. So this is square one, and then this would be square two, this one right here. The last edge is not made yet right here. So there's four edges right in a square. So the very last one hasn't been made yet. And we started at half a corner, right? So half a corner is our starting point. And we stopped right here before the other half of the corner was made. So it's like another half corner. So half corner to half corner. Okay. So that's how this one is made. So what you're going to do is to join as you go method is going to finish this up right here. Okay. And as we're doing this, we are connecting over to the other side. Okay. So we're going to do this with slip stitches. I know these are lines, but I'm just trying to show you. Okay. So these are slip stitches, what I'm going to use in order to connect the two squares together. You would then replicate this with square three, four, and so forth. Okay. So my blanket is eight times eight. So this goes all the way up to eight. So that means the ninth square 
right here looks exactly like this the number two or three four five and so forth just it's in a different direction right so right here the ninth one you would also do the last edge and you would do your slip stitches over right now for the next one which is number 10 you actually going to stop after you having having done two edges okay you can see that it is like two edges done so it would be this part and this part you would stop right here in half the corner okay and that one you would then connect to square two right with slip stitches and then after that you would, uh, would connect it to square nine again slip stitches you're gonna have this area here in between and if you're not going to connect it to all squares at the same time you're gonna have a little hole so you have two choices you either leave that hole you're going to sew it together later or what I would recommend is that the last time you are in this area which would be right here in this spot okay that little spot you simply going to connect it to all of them so I'm gonna make it a little circle here right you can kind of loop your loop through it right your this loop right here you can loop through all three squares and then come back to the tenth square right and then continue on doing your slip stitches there's many different ways and how you can can do it you can as I said you can slip stitch to all of them you can just loop it through or you sew it together later it's up to you now here number 11 would be the exact same way right you have two edges done already so one two and then you would connect this one to number three and then you do the, this is the point the same point as here right you would connect all of them or all the way around so this one is also connected at that point right you're going to connect them all and then you're going to continue right here with the slip stitches as you are crocheting now that's the idea of how the join as you go method works again you can even start from the center and work your way all the way out it's up to you okay you can do it however you like now now that you know and understand this method let me now show you how I did it on this square so as I said I finished here in half the corner and I need to now connect it over to the other side so here's one chain which you don't have to do if you don't want to if you when you're connecting it over I prefer still doing it just because it is in the pattern and I want to do it that way okay so I make my chain of one after I made half of a corner now I'm going to go into that chain space the exact same chain space right here that is closest to it so if I put those two squares next to each other right on my paper was like this this was one and this is two so right here I need to connect it over to the exact same chain space so I made here a chain of one the exact same chain space right here I'm gonna connect into it I'm gonna make a slip stitch okay like so now the first corner is connected so if I let go right now you can see it's connected but we need to do all of these stitches here now you could make it every other stitch etc to connect to it I'm gonna do it every stitch because that's what linked crochet is all about they're all connected and there's no gaps in between so that's what I want to do so after I did my slip stitch over here I need to do my next stitch in that corner so that's what I'm gonna do okay the corner right here is a double crochet so that's what I'm gonna do I make my double crochet and after I did my double crochet I'm gonna connect it over here to the next stitch like right next to it you see that there's we went into that corner in that chain space so the stitch right next to it so if I lay it straight you can see it it's that stitch right next to it that's what you're gonna do you're gonna connect it to it and the connection is always a slip stitch in this case there's many different methods okay but for me for this specific square it's gonna be a slip stitch so that's what I did okay slip stitch it into it now I'm gonna do my next stitch and my next stitch is a linked crochet stitch the linked double crochet stitch so right here go into this double crochet right yarn over and pull through go back into the chain space yarn over and pull through and finish it up like a double crochet remember this is for the specific square so if you haven't done the square yet and you don't know what link crochet is about go ahead and watch that previous video okay so now that I made my linked crochet stitch I'm now going to connect it over to the next stitch so I'm literally going back and forth like a zigzag right so make one stitch and then make a slip stitch right here done next stitch boom done now I'll come back over here to this one 
and I'm going to make another linked crochet stitch right here into the next stitch. This one right here. Don't forget this one. There is a stitch here. Uh, many crocheters forget this guy right here because sometimes our corner is kind of covering it up. Don't forget that one, otherwise you're going to be one stitch off. So go into that, do your linked crochet stitch. Now I'm going to go back over here to the finished square and I'm going to do another slip stitch. Now I'll come back over here to this square and make my next linked crochet stitch. So you can see I do stitch, then I do my slip stitch. I go back over, I'll make my stitch, and then I'll make my slip stitch. So this goes back and forth until you reach the corner, and I'll show you how to do that part. So I'll go ahead and finish this side and uh, all the way onto the corner, and I'll show you the corner. Okay, so now we need to do our corner. We're pretty much going to do the exact same thing, right? So you're going to do your linked double crochet stitches and right into that corner. So we need to do the other half of that corner, right? There's always two stitches, a chain of one and two stitches. So we need to finish that corner up. So again, you're going to go over there, make your slip stitch make your second linked double crochet, which is the last one here for this corner. And again, another slip stitch right here and a last stitch. And now you have a chain of one and your last slip stitch. And then go over here and slip stitch to the first stitch that you made. And then you have your connection right here. Now I made this with slip stitches. Okay. And I kind of like this little bit of a ridge. Um, so this is how it looks like, right? So you can see there's a little bit of a ridge there and you're going to have this on every point pretty much that is connected. So this is the point right here that I was talking about when I drew this out. So this point right here. So if I lay this out, okay, like so, this is square one, this is square two. So down here would be square square nine and then down here would be 10. So this is the point right here where you then just have to take your loop and kind of loop it through, right? So you can uh, take this, make it a little bit longer, right? Let's pretend this is the 10th one. This is the loop from the 10th one. So you would literally, you would take your hook and then you just go already through right into each corner and kind of pull your loop all the way through. And obviously this would also go through the ninth one and then you would continue crocheting. So that way that little corner right there is connected all the way through and you don't have a tiny hole in the center, okay? Now I do want to point one more thing out. So I use slip stitches for this but you could also do like the invisible slip stitch. Okay. So I showed you the regular slip stitch. So let me remind you again. So I just pulled this out a little bit here so I can show you, right? So a regular slip stitch is this way, right? And then you will continue on crocheting, but you could also do the invisible slip stitch. The invisible slip stitch would be, you pull this up, take your hook out and pull this through like so, and then you would continue crocheting. So let me show you how that looks like. Again, this is up to you. You can do it either way. So this takes just a hint more time, right? And it has a slightly different look. So because you have to take your hook out every time and then reinsert it after you pulled it through, it will look slightly different and of course take a little bit more time, but it can be worth it if you like it that way. So as you can see, I'm just pulling it through. So instead of doing the regular slip stitch, taking my loop, go over to the other square and just pulling that loop through. That way they're connected. So let me do here one more stitch and I'll show you how the result looks like. So here's the difference, okay? So it's a little bit more, um, let me say, flatter. Okay. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, you can see it a little bit there. So it's flatter this way, right? So here you have that ridge. It goes faster, but you have a ridge. And then over here it's flatter, but you're going to have these little loops. 
You see that? So it's different. This one looks like your V's on the top. And then here you have these loops. So this is a preference. So I need you to decide on your own how you're going to do it. It's either the regular slip stitch or it's going to be the invisible slip stitch. Either one works. And again, there's other methods too. This is just what I recommend for this specific one because we used link crochet all the way around. So now you're going to continue on doing this for the entire blanket that way. And if you wish, you don't have to do it with the join as you go method. You can also sew them all together using the mattress stitch or whip stitch, etc. I have videos for those as well. If you don't know what the mattress stitch is, it's a pretty cool technique where it's pretty much getting these two together completely and you won't see um, really a seam directly because it almost looks like these V's, pretend their mouths are kissing each other, right? So they're gonna come literally together and then the mattress stitch is pretty much a woven stitch through and it connects them too. So that's another method you can do, but it wouldn't be the join as you go. Join as you go means you're crocheting them together as you're finishing your last square or whatever square is the neighboring square. Whoa, you learn how to connect this Daisy Linked Crochets Granny Square into this version and then into a blanket whoa now i hope you learned something new in this video leave us a comment down below we would love to know if you learned something new because join as you go can be made in different ways it is a method it is not a stitch or a specific type of pattern and don't forget to like comment and share this video and subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on the bell to get a notification the next time i publish a video or go live did you know i go live weekly don't miss it and now go ahead and watch the next video because it's one of mine you might want to watch it i'll see you in the next video until then